All right, good day. Welcome to another smalljobsdenver.com video. Today's video is about basement painting, interior painting, actually brick painting. You can see in a lot of places it's failed. And so my favorite tool to start off with is a flat edge edging shovel. And uh, I'm scraping this wall down best I can. And I'll come back and I'll finalize it with a real scraper. And then I'll use some brick sealant. And uh, uh, that's white, we'll white coated. Then we're gonna come back and paint the floor after I clean it. So uh, I'll come back here with these different aspects of this project. And uh, this will be a nice little storage area here in a basement. Uh, nice house actually is going on the market here in the next week or two. And so we're getting her ready. All right, smalljobsdenver.com, brick and masonry painting interior, basement wall painting. All right, Denver, Colorado. All right, welcome back, smalljobsdenver.com. Brick and masonry painting, basement painting, basement concrete painting. And so, uh, hey, check it out. I've got it all scraped, cleaned her all up. I still need to like mop the floor, but since I'm gonna slop paint everywhere, um, I'm really going to uh, wait on the floor. And as you can see, this is a uh, brick and masonry paint. And uh, you know, one coat's not gonna probably cover it 100%. I'll probably put two quick coats. And that's the stuff right there, bare masonry and stucco brick paint. Uh, great stuff. And uh, I put it on there with a giant brush. It's like an eight inch brush or something. And, uh, and really it's just slop painting. But, oh yeah, right over onto the edge. Oh, very nice. And so I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna hit all these heavy spots that were, obviously it's going water. And obviously somebody should look outside to see why this is taking on so much water. Must be some kind of gutter issue probably in this corner of the building. Maybe, probably yeah, this whole entire corner of the building seems like it's taking on a lot of groundwater. And so, uh, yeah, maybe have a look at that. But uh, this will seal this up on the inside and uh, then we'll work on the floor. All right, smalljobsdenver.com, brick and masonry painting, interior painting, uh, brick painting, floor painting, concrete painting, Denver, Colorado. All right, welcome back, that's our first coat. You see, it goes on pretty good. It's a thick paint, and uh, really, it stinks a bit. <clears throat> in, a, in a tight area like this, really got to open some windows. And in this case, uh, there really isn't a window, so I should have brought a fan. And then, uh, so you know, the wall epoxy and then the floor epoxy. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Definitely got to put another coat on uh, some of those spots. And I guess ultimately the whole idea isn't really to paint the room, you know, to make it a showroom, but to make sure that there is no more peeling paint. And so that's part of uh, one of the loan programs for when you buy a house. And I guess it's one of the most popular programs. So if we have any peeling paint, then uh, that eliminates a huge part of the market, of the buying market. So uh, yeah, that's the whole book game right there. It's really not so much to... You know, there is a hair of a difference in color. And it might just be between old and new. But really, we're just gonna seal it up. Seal up the floor. And that's why I kind of overlapped. Because really, I wanna make sure if there's any kind of cracks or gaps, I wanna seal it all, you know? Um, in this case, uh, it's actually pretty watertight down here. And you know, this goes right into a you know, semi-finished area, which has one of those uh, 